Welcome back YouTube, VST here and SP Tech. This is the Samsung Galaxy A32 and today is a very special day. Why? Because finally I am receiving the One UI 4th one upgrade Android 12 for the Samsung Galaxy A32. April was the first time I heard that a One UI 4th one was coming. I have a phone from Ukraine, right? So I was not sure that I'm gonna get this update so quick. Nevertheless, the update is here with all the new fancy stuff that Android 12 is going to offer. So I will now upgrade the Galaxy A32 and then do a full review. Home settings, animations, apps openings, apps closing, camera opening, camera closing, recent menu, quick settings, is it smooth? Is it perhaps even better than what we have right now? So if you are into videos like this, don't forget to subscribe to that channel and hit that bell icon here or there to be notified every time I do create a new video and let's start. So here we are, the Samsung Galaxy A32, Samsung A series being really the backbone of Samsung sales strategy to sell really nice to very nice phones and I would say at very acceptable price. So the A series is almost a legend with the A32, the A52 and the 52 5G and now of course the A53. You can pretty much get a very decent phone packed with all the features and not to mention some of those phones like the A32 and the A52 still have the headphone jack and also of course the micro SD card so you're getting really almost the full package of nice to have things like a very nice screen like a micro SD card so you can get more storage like a headphone jack and even a 120 hertz refresh rate but of course you are sacrificing on performance you're not getting the best chipset and you're sacrificing on the build quality as you just get plastic and not glass and etc and of course also on the camera department but a series again is a living legend the a32 right now i have is from ukraine it came with android 11 and i was waiting to get my hands on the one for one here it is guys i just want to show you the change lock because believe me probably we forgot about this but it is a huge change lock i can't keep going you probably have a coffee finish your coffee i'm still not gonna be over huge huge update really not joking here you can just see all the things that i'm doing so right now security patch level is the april the first it is 2300 gigabytes and it adds a ton of features for your phone like the ram plus like the gos people love it resizable picture in picture enhanced edge panels right and there's so many things again if i need to do a video all in the change lock it probably take me like one hour but you get all the android 12 perks being the color palette which is inspired by google material you get also the privacy fancy things like all the indicators when you turn the camera and the microphone the approximate location the clipboard protection you get some very nice updates on the samsung keyboard you get updates on the home screen on the lock screen on the camera of course the lens and zoom and etc pro photography which is really insane you can use external things like microphones and headphones and just connect them and shoot your videos customize the awb which is the head to white balance customize the iso and the ev and etc you get portraits for pets so if you do have a pet most probably want to get the samsung phone updates for your gallery right tons of update photo and video editor the ar emoji nobody needs this sharing things which is nice the calendar updates and again i can really keep going for days just taking a look and reading the full change log but enough is enough so i'm gonna hit here the download button guys and i'm gonna be back when this beauty is installed so bear one moment with me i'm gonna make it one moment for you subscribe for the channel buckle up and let's meet in three two one let's do this and here we are the first boot of the one ui 4.1 for the samsung galaxy a32 let's quickly check the software version and then we're gonna start the full review software update your device has been updated so as you can just see it looks very familiar but if we go to software update and we do a check we're gonna see that we are indeed running the latest version so it's one ui 4.1 running on android 12 I'm going to scroll around to just see how the phone performs, all right, all the applications there, going back to the home screen. I will now hold and pinch my finger to try to access the home settings, okay, so we are just trying to test this animation. By the way, yep, this animation here is very fluid and if you have been following my videos, you know that I have a problem with this animation on my S22 Ultra device. 
right not the case here impressive i'm gonna go to settings so that you can just see the launcher the about home screen the one ui home version is 13.1.0.1.63 and there are updates guys which actually make me think that i will go to the galaxy store and try to see which of the samsung stock applications are now getting updated wow 22 updates because I am getting the latest Android 12 for the Samsung Galaxy A32. What I'm going to do right now, guys, I'm going to go inside and update everything. There are updates for the One UI Home, for the gallery, for the quick share accessibility, the My Files. So most of those updates, right, the recorder and etc., will really come as updates directly from the Samsung gallery. So what I do recommend every time you do update your Samsung's phone software or firmware, go inside the Samsung store and make sure to update all of the Samsung stock application. Of course, if you're not using them, don't update them. But if you're using the Samsung stock launcher, if you're using the Samsung gallery, the quick share, the accessibility, the my files, which is probably the case with you, make sure to always go check and update everything. So I will resume my review after that's updated. So let's do it now. All your apps are up to date. So again, very important disclaimer guys, always make sure to use the latest updates for Samsung stock application. Now it's time to just go back and check the settings again. So I'm just gonna scroll down and the one year home now version is 13.1.073 and this is indeed the latest one. Let's check what we have inside here. The home screen layout, all the grids, the media player the home screen, show up screen button on the home screen, lock home screen layout, and etc. And etc. The rotation to landscape mode and the swipe down for notification panel. It's all there, it's pretty much seems standard. So let's now check the notification with swiping down. Boom! Alright, this was really very smooth, guys. I'm just gonna do it several times so that we together are able to assess how smooth is one UI for that one running on the Samsung Galaxy A32. Now let's check all the toggles there, all right? The dark mode, Wi-Fi calling, the do not disturb, the flashlight, everything seems to be intact. And we now have also the new perks. We do have the device control, which is again powered by smart things. You can open it up or you can use, of course, the Google home application and we do have also the media output which is very important because right now we are able to use this on the phone but then change the output if we have headphones connected and of course use also media share so this is one new thing coming from one ui 4.1 now let me go to the wallpaper and styles because again the front face of android 12 is relying on google material view and color palette we have it so let's just now go inside and see what options we have, this is the standard one, all right? One like this, one like that, okay? So you do get like five custom ones standard and then four more custom color palettes. Let me just try to use the apply button to see what will happen. We do have, of course, the gallery. We do have the option to apply the dark mode to the wallpaper and etc. Now it should be all applied. I'm just gonna do like this, boom. We now see all the icons have the new color. Right, um, this is pretty much material UI. Now let's check also the volume rocker, okay? Volume rocker is like this, all right? One UI, 4 one ringtone, media, we have now all the new colors. It's time now to open the camera and see if we're gonna get the camera and the microphone toggles. So, opening the camera, all right, waiting for this, the privacy connectors, boom, here. We have an indication. And if I go to video, by the way, and now start recording, we should see that the camera and also the microphone are being used. Okay, flash on, flash off, it's all there. And I'm gonna go back to photo. Let's check now the zoom. We do have here all the various levels and we do have also here the zoom slider, which is also available from One UI 4.1. Now let's go to check the camera settings. If we just go to about camera, we're gonna see that the camera version is 12.0.0.6.7. What are though the options? Okay, we have the scene optimizer, we have the swipe shutter button to take the burst shot and also be able to create a jive, which is actually quite nice. We do have support for the high efficiency pictures, the HEIF. We are able to reduce the video file size by using HEVC. Of course, this phone is not an S22, so we will not have like HDR videos, etc. But we do have HEVC, which is quite nice. 
right storage location very important guys internal storage or sd card you can also put watermarks it pretty much seems to be the complete game you have the standard night mode but when you go to more you are gonna be able to find here the pro mode now let's check what you can do with the pro mode using the a32 we have the selection of the eyes so you can go from 100 200 400 to 800 and of course keep it to auto then we have the ev in the form of a slider and then of course we have the auto white balance being able to adjust it from a very cold to very warm temperature you don't have the shutter speed and also some of the fancy things you're going to be able to find in the s22 series but it only gets as good as it is and this is the a32 now still the video is fhd 30 so no 60 fps video don't expect any miracles we now go to the photo settings right and i just switch to the front camera okay this is me okay you have to zoom in zoom out selfies if we go to the settings reduce file size this is the hevc for the video the auto hdr is quite nice you can still use the auto hdr um i think this is as much as we can get from the camera and now guys let's try to see the recent menu so i'm just gonna do like this right all the applications are now presented okay and it does pretty much looks very smooth so i'm just gonna do this several times so that we have the ocean together to estimate how well does it run and speaking about how well guys i want to go inside the settings and just show you something probably need to go to battery and device care and then under the memory section hopefully we're going to be able to find the virtual ram this is now also a new thing from the samsung one ray 4.1 here it is guys the ram plus four gigabytes in addition Using the A32 and using the latest One UI 4.1, you only have the option to use two or four. On the S22 Ultra, I think I have six and eight in addition. This unit has, I think, four gigabytes of RAM with the four gigabytes of the RAM Plus. It will now have something like eight, which is not bad enough. And if we go back, we probably just see how much is free. And I will now clean it up to just get a bit more of it. By the way, the whole device care section has been updated and there are plenty of things you can do, starting with trying to fix some of the issues automatically, of course. One battery issue, show ups causing issue. You can just say it's TikTok, so I can just put it in this sleep if I want. So the battery management is there. The storage management is there. The memory management is there. What I want to see right now is which additional things we can do with the device care so if i go to automation right auto optimize daily this will be something very nice for you to do guys so i always select this adaptive power saving also and if you want to take it to the next level you can also set auto restart time which i'm not using right then you have the software update and then you have guys device protection under device protection guys you are going to be able to get some antivirus services by mcafee i'm not using that one and then you have also diagnostic which is usually found under the samsung members so you can just run a full diagnostic on your phone the status of the battery the nfc the sim card everything there are also reports on how many issues you have with applications and the restart history and the battery and etc but what i don't see here is the option to set enhanced processing and etc which is only available and of course the more premium s series okay guys now it's time to open some of the application and the first thing i want to start is the camera i'm going to open the camera okay now I'm going to close the camera, right, so opening the camera, right, exit, open, exit, open, and now of course close it, let me just do this one more time, open, close, open, close, yeah, I would say not that bad at all. Let's now go inside the display and see if anything has changed here, so we have the light mode, we have the dark mode, you have also the dark mode settings, you can turn it on as scheduled, this is quite nice, we have the motion smoothness, so of course I always go and use the maximum available settings we do have also the eye comfort function which is something very nice and also part of the new things from the one ui 4.1 now i usually go for a custom setting because i want to use the sunset to sunrise and i want to be able to modify a bit the color temperature so it's not so yellowish one of the other things again that we're able to find inside is the new privacy first things first all the permissions that have been used in the last 24 hours because i just updated the phone i don't have many but you can just see that the camera has been used by one up and the microphone if i click inside guys yep permission usage all the application will need your permission to access sensitive data and features so by starting this you will have this usage history so i know now that the camera application 
was started at this exact time and it was using the permissions of my microphone and camera and also the locations. So you, of course you can do this not only with the camera and the microphone, you can also try and see calendar, call logs, SMSs. So it really gives you this nice level of transparency allowing you to control your phone and control the apps that can control your phone. Then you have also the permission manager or which of my application is able to access my call logs. Now I'm gonna go inside and I know it's contact, it's due, it's Google, it's phone, it's Viber. And that's okay, but if I see something here that is not okay, I can just remove it. Privacy is really a big thing in Android 12 and I'm really happy to see that Samsung took a lot of this and put it there. You also have the options to be alerted when your clipboard is accessed, of course, when you're using Samsung stock keyboard. And it's also quite something very nice, specifically when you're typing passwords and yep, you have the feeling somebody may be stealing some things from you. Now let's see some of the widgets, guys. All right, I'm gonna just do like this and I'm gonna click widgets. So all these widgets now have been redesigned and you probably know one of the best widgets that I use to do all my widgets tests is Spotify because yeah, just wait and see. It does have one of the coolest animation, opening, closing, opening, closing. This is why I do love it. The animation really is stunning. Let me just show you guys also the other widgets. So you have the standard calendar widgets, one, two, three, four. Also four clock widgets. So you have the digital clock and you have this analog clock, which by the way has been updated. You have also the dual clock. You have your contacts widgets. You have the device care widgets. If you want to access directly device care or even clean your memory and etc. You have also some other like Google widgets and etc. You have some accessibility widgets like the magnifier. Let's check one more time all the applications inside my wishes menu. You are of course able to perform here a search. You do have here all the suggested settings by the way, the same will happen if we go inside the app drawer and try to search for something, okay? So I just believe it does look very, very uniform. And although you are not able to find almost all of the settings that I do have in the S22 Ultra, I would say 85 to even 90% of the One UI 4.1 stock functionality is inside that phone, the Galaxy A32. And with that said, guys, I will conclude my Samsung One UI 4.1 review. I will not do any Geekbench benchmark whatsoever. It doesn't really make sense at this point. The best thing is go update your A32s and get hands on the Android 12. All right, guys, hope that you have liked the video. If that's the case, don't forget to really smash the like button, subscribe for my channel, and I will see you in one of my next videos. With that said, VST, over and bye. If you're patient and soon, it can all be worth it. All the searching, pain is never really permanent, but damn it hurts, man. I could feel all of the turbulence and it's concerning. I've been searching for a purpose. I hope it's